Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia and Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And today, we are going to be talking about the importance and why you should be using Mogurts. And no, Gogurts are those yogurt tubes that I used to eat as a kid. Today, we are talking about Mogurts. Gogurt, yogurt, mogurt. Wow, I'm surprised I made it through that one. So a mogurt, M-O-G-R-T, stands for motion graphics template, and you can build it out inside the essential graphics panel inside of After Effects, and most recently with the new update to Premiere and also After Effects, you can finally replace media inside of a mogurt, pictures and videos, so that you can use it kind of cross-platform into Adobe Premiere, which is awesome. And that's the reason why I'm making this video, because you should absolutely be utilizing that power that is now in the new update of Premiere and After Effects, 2021. And I know you're smart and you're gonna listen to me, one, because you're watching this video, thank you so much. By the way, are you subscribed yet? There's a lot of people who watch my stuff that aren't subscribed and that's kinda, of, okay, anyway, uh, you're smart because you watch my videos and two, you're smart because you wanna save time and as you know, time is money. So the more time you save, the more money you make. Even if you're not making money, you're still making money. Figure that equation out. But basically utilizing Mogurts in your After Effects and Premiere crossover workflow thing is gonna make your life so much easier and you're gonna be so much happier and it's gonna be great. We're gonna save time, we're gonna make money, we're gonna be creative. Oh, Open up Adobe After Effects because we are getting started right now. All right, guys, After Effects is open and down here on my timeline, I've got this nice, simple animation, two lines of text, one photo that I wanna turn into a Mogart file so I can use it inside of Adobe Premiere and use that awesome media replacement function that is now available to us. So uh, I'm gonna explain kind of what's going on in this composition first, but I will also give you the project file to this project so you can dig in and look around yourself. Uh, there's some cool stuff going on here, but let's dive in and check it out. In my text lines, uh, my text will automatically resize to the bounding box that's around it so you guys can swap out this text and we're also going to make it available to change the color so that's for both text lines and as for my main square i'm just using this shape layer right here and referencing my image in a luma inverted matte to give it that nice little kind of washed out feeling and all together i'm just doing some nice simple animation in after effects nothing super crazy going on here but we are going to turn this into a mogart file now what i would recommend is using after effects internal plugins and a bunch of stuff to do all your animations because third-party plugins seem to be causing me some issues, especially while trying to export my Mogurt file to an Adobe library, which is super easy and convenient to use in Premiere. So definitely try to stick within the realm of After Effects and not use too many third-party plugins. You're also gonna wanna make sure that your composition is not set to the Cinema 4D render, but rather the classic 3D render in After Effects. And you can check by coming up to Composition, Composition Settings, coming over to 3D Renderer, and choosing Classic 3D. So make sure that that is also on. So once you've built out your animation in whatever format, the first thing we're gonna do is create protected regions because I want the ability to lengthen or shorten this Mogart file in Premiere. It's not gonna make sense right now, but it will once we get into Premiere. So I'm gonna find where my last animation keyframes are for the intro animation, and I'm going to hit N on the keyboard for end. That's how I always remember it. Shrink it back to this one keyframe, and I'm going to right click and create protected region from work area. And I'm also gonna do the same thing down here at the end. Hit B for beginning, and then put this all the way over to the end. Right click, create protected region from work area. And you guys will see once we bring it into Premiere later, you can lengthen or shorten the duration of your entire animation. And that's what protected regions will do. It will protect your animations from harm's way. Anyways, I have now protected my regions and now it's time to build out the essential graphics. So come right up here to window and open the essential graphics panel. And we are going to start dragging and dropping things that we want to be able to edit into this composition. But first, we're going to select the composition and I'm going to select the Mogart composition. And I'm just gonna set the poster frame right away. And basically this will give you a little thumbnail image inside of Premiere to let you know kind of what that graphic looks like. And we're going to name it. I'm gonna name it Mogurt Gogurt, and of course I will give you access to this Mogart file in addition to the project file if you don't wanna download the project file and you just wanna use the motion graphics template file. You get everything you want here at Learn How to Add Stuff, usually for free, and all I ask is that you subscribe to my channel. Are you subscribed yet? Have you clicked that thumbs up button? Have you dropped a comment in the comment section below? It helps the algorithm, all right? It's, it's too complicated for you to understand, just do it. Anyways, so we're jumping back in, Mogurt Gogurt, and now we're gonna start dragging properties that we want to be able to edit into the Essential Graphics panel. So let's start with text line number one. I'm gonna open up that pre-comp, and I'm going to click Solo Supported Properties, and I'm going to just simply drag my source text right up here, and I'm going to click Edit Properties, and I'm going to turn on Enable Custom Font Selection, and I'm also going to add the text scale, and I'm also going to add the fill for our rectangle layer, and that's pretty much all I wanna do here. And then I will add some formatting. I will create a group and I will call this text line one. 
And now I will just very simply drag all of these properties into text line one. And of course, I'm gonna rename this stuff. So box color, text scale, and source text is totally fine. And you can rearrange these however you want. We'll put source text at the top and then we'll put text scale right underneath and then box color on the bottom. Okay, so that is all set up for text line one. Now, you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do the same thing for text line two. Click solo supported properties. Again, uh, let's make our group first. I feel like that's what I should have done the first time. Text line two. And we are going to drag the source text into the text line two group. We are going to drag the scale as well. And of course the color for the fill, boom. And of course, box color, text scale, and source text. And we have, to, I should have done it backwards. That's what I should have done. All right, that covers us for our text lines. And now the last thing to do is the main square. Again, solo supported properties. But this time I'm actually just going to drag the entire photo layer, which is Cabo 25. This is a drink of mine that I had in Cabo. And I'm just gonna pull it straight up here and it will just create a nice thumbnail image. And I'm going to call this media replace. And I am also going to drag the color of the box, call that internal box color and external box code. Why do I always do a capital O? Jeez. And because we wanna keep our formatting nice and great, we're gonna add a group and we're gonna call this main box and drag these in there. So all of these properties that we're looking at right now inside of After Effects will be editable in Adobe Premiere. So I can edit the actual text itself, the box color that is behind it, and the text scale, as well as replace the media inside of that box, as well as adjust the colors of the box. And that should, should cover everything. Uh, I didn't test this before recording this tutorial, so we're gonna cross our fingers that we don't have to record this part again. So everything is good for me to change. And then of course, the next thing I'm gonna do is click Export Motion Graphics Temp Template, which will then ask me to save. Of course, I will save it. And then After Effects will do its magic. And now we are at our destination. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export this Mogart to my learn how to edit stuff Adobe library. If you guys would like to create an Adobe library yourself, open up Creative Cloud, come over to your work, and then you can click this little plus button next to your libraries, and you can add yourself a new library, and you can add all of your Mogarts into that library. So anything, oh my goodness, did you just hear my dog bark? He's freaking out. Goji! Rude, he knows I'm trying to record this tutorial. Now there's a siren. I don't even know if you can hear it. It doesn't matter. Anyways, create an Adobe library for all of your Mogarts. So then that way, anytime you do anything in After Effects, you can save that out and easily call it up inside of Adobe Premiere, which is saving you time, saving you money, saving you stress, and making you overall more happy. But since I already have a library made for learn how to edit stuff, I will click cancel. I will close out of this and I will set the destination to my learn how to edit stuff library. Check all the compatibility boxes and let's add some keywords. Learn how to edit stuff. We're gonna Mogart. Um, animation, uh, media, box, title, and let's call it a day. Click OK, and now it will add all those keywords. Now we click OK, and it will export that Mogart file into my Adobe library, which, minimize After Effects, look at my wife and I, we're so adorable, I'm gonna open up Adobe Premiere. And now in Premiere, I will come up to my library's workspace and learn how to edit stuff is already selected. Here is our Mogart Gogurt file, which we will just now take, drag, and drop straight onto our timeline. You will see that it comes in exactly like we built it in After Effects, which is great. And if you click on that layer, go over to your graphics panel, Panel, and now we can edit all of these parameters that we made inside of After Effects. So I will change text line one to new text with an exclamation point, and then text line two to also text with an exclamation point. It automatically updates in our composition. We can change our box color to maybe like a like an orange, like a moody kind of yellowy orange. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. We're gonna copy that hex code and we're gonna paste it to the other box color. Ooh, yeah, that's looking real nice. And then we'll change the internal box color maybe to like a, like a, ooh, like a lavender, maybe like a lavender color. Ooh, that's looking real nice. And everything updates with the animations and everything with the new colors, which is fantastic. So now the last part of the puzzle is replacing this image. So instead of a fruity drink, I'm gonna come over here to my still images and I'm going to replace it with this photo of footsteps on the beach, because why not? Drag and drop that photo straight onto the fruity drink layer and it will automatically update inside of that Mogart, you can change some of the properties from scale to fill, scale to fit, stretch to fill, no scale, and you can manually control the scale, position, and rotation of that image inside of the box as well, and it will automatically update in your composition. 
And now we can play this. Everything is updated with the new text and the new colors and everything looks good. New media, it animates in and out. And because we did our protected regions, what I can do is I can just grab the end of this layer, drag it all the way back to say three seconds. And now my footage will still animate out at three seconds, at five seconds if we want. The animation out is still the same. We can drag this all the way out to nine seconds. The animation is still the same. So creating those protected regions gives me the flexibility to kind of shorten or lengthen this Mogart file in Premiere to make it the exact amount of time that I need. So a lot of really cool sciencey things happening, creative stuff happening, Adobe stuff happening, After Effects stuff happening, Premiere stuff happening. It's all coming together and coagulating in a really cool way. And that's Mogart files. Okay. So you guys should absolutely be utilizing this stuff because again, it saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of headache, frustration. It'll make you happier. Time is money. All of the stuff I said before still applies now. And that's it. I've got nothing else for you other than to say you should absolutely be utilizing Mogart files if you're a smart person. Also, you're going to be subscribing to my channel, thumbs up in this video, dropping a comment in the comment section below to help the algorithm, help your boy Naughty and Sans. I'm giving you the project files, the Mogart file. Everything is in the video description below. Check out the link tree, which will take you to a subsection of the link tree called all tutorial downloads, which will then take you to Dropbox. So you can download everything that I've ever given away for free on this channel. Also inside of that link tree link, you will find a bunch of links to help support me, support the channel, support you, follow me on social media, all of that fun stuff. Subscribe, the, the thumbs up, the comments, uh, the Mogarts, the Gogarts, the Yogurts. Man, I had a lot of coffee this morning. Anyway, thank you so much. My name is Nadine Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff, and I will see you in the next one.